Good morning, Wild West gamers. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode 126. Four episodes after the big restart. We're loaded now. Last episode went so well. Look at this. The copper stash, it's doing amazingly. Oh, but no way, no way. Don't forget about the coal. Coal is doing so good too. And iron, but it doesn't stop there. It couldn't. Over here, even more copper over here. Even more iron. It's finished now. We're doing so good. We're loaded. But tragically, we don't have a single deep slate build in this whole area to show for it. It's quite sad, you see. But it's for a simple reason. It's because we can't get to it. Until today. Last episode, we did a little bit of a setup for today's big project. Today, we're going to do the big project. I think we need to start off with the first iron shovel of the world because we're going to set up a mining zone. This mining zone is going to be over here. Right now, with the shovel, I'd like to kind of outline it. I'm thinking it'll wrap around this way. It'll be pretty big and then wrap back over to here. In this whole zone, I think I'd like to end up with like two, maybe three buildings. Um, at least one building. <laughs> <laughs> now right off the bat this is what i'm thinking uh we're gonna have kind of like a pit in the ground uh this pit in the ground i think should be like back here somewhere this is gonna be like our main mine area for this whole zone i'm thinking for the pit in the ground we literally quite literally have a pit in the ground like i'm thinking we we make a random like natural shaped hole like maybe maybe something kind of like that uh we we work on it a little bit more maybe something like that and it goes straight down and when i say down down below this video is the like button Please consider hitting it. So a couple of these trees are going to be in the way. This one definitely has to go. Uh, this one too. This one too. Maybe this one too. Yeah, we'll just take this one down too and replant it. And then I guess. I'm so sorry, trees. I don't like to be like this, but that one is going to have to go too. I, I have to take those out of here. I don't know about you, but I kind of don't like it when people like just jump right into it. I kind of like a lead in. Like when I'm watching a video and somebody just like jumps right into the project or whatever the video topic is, my brain kind of goes, whoa, buddy. Slow down. Slow down. According to some people, that's just me though. But anyways, there's a lot to do today. I think we're gonna even take down this tree too, and then we'll just come back and replant trees. With this base, the vibe, I definitely wanna have trees like all over the place, but I kinda wanna make those custom trees, the ones that we talked about earlier on. In the next couple seconds, there are going to be some spoilers. These aren't like really big spoilers. They're just spoilers for what we're gonna build today. If you don't wanna hear it, mute the video. And don't look at closed captions. I mean, they're probably wrong anyways. So we're going to have this big pit right here. Potentially. Yeah, yeah, potentially. We'll have to see how everything works out. But maybe. Or actually, now that I think about it. Maybe. Maybe we should actually change this. Do we want to have the building sitting in the back corner? And then we have, like, the pit that we fall into maybe, like, over here instead? So kind of, like, just move it over there? Uh, or do we like the back corner? You know what? Yeah, change of plans. I don't know if I really want this pit in, in the back corner. It's going to be pretty cool looking, hopefully. And we're going to put something pretty cool looking next to it, at the least. And that cool thing that I'm going to set up, I, I definitely want it to be seen. So let's actually move the pit over to, like, this area right here. It doesn't have to be exactly right here, but, like, potentially, like, in, in this spot somewhere. Maybe, like, that size, too. That should probably be pretty good. The next thing that I want to set up today is some kind of crane. Now, there's going to be copper on this crane, and the crane needs to be, like, leaning over the pit a little bit. Uh, like, it's kind of like lifting something out of the pit. Now, the crane isn't going to be too big. I'm thinking the base of the crane will be something like that. So we have to figure out where we want to put that. And then somewhere in here, too, like maybe over here, we could still take the land down over here for sure. Uh, I want to have a building. This building is going to be a small building, nothing like the Sweet Berry Barn even, but like a building. Inside of that building, I was thinking I would put like all the stone. I'm probably going to get a lot of stone from digging this stuff out today. Uh, like, like random stones, like tough and andesite and granite, you know, kind of like a storage situation for the, for the stones. When I say building, I'm imagining a pretty small building too. Like maybe, I don't know, we, we need to have room for chests inside of the thing. So let's say that's like a chest in here. Uh, we could have the back wall right there. That would be fine. We could maybe go out like, I don't know, like two and then another space right there. So we could do chests on both sides and then li like that, probably something like this. And then not too long either. Like, let's say maybe the building goes to here, like, like we save that much room for the building. That's like the biggest I think I would ever want to build it. And then if I need to make it smaller, I could easily just move it in. See, when setting up a build, you could always make it smaller, but you can't necessarily make it bigger. Like if I start digging this thing and then I need more room for the building, that's going to be annoying. I either have to shave the hill back or redig everything that I'm about to dig. Not fun. The crane is the big thing though. When I put the crane in here, wherever it ends up being, 
I want it to be seen. I'm gonna try and build this crane and make it look like really good. And if I'm gonna make it look good, it needs to be seen. I'm kind of wondering if I should build the crane first. So look, how about this? Thinking about how the, the flow of this area is gonna go, we have the tent, we have the barn right there. Uh, we could have a path come over here to this whole zone. We could probably just end up moving this thing, make this whole area look like a mining project, like all the way over to here, piles of rocks all over the ground eventually. And then big crane right there. I think that's a good spot for it. And the hole right here too. I think that's probably pretty good. <laughs> Maybe. I hope. I can't lie. I'm insanely nervous about this crane. It needs to look good. Now, I really wish I had dark oak wood right now because dark oak wood, like the staircases, pair amazingly with spruce wood. But I don't have them. So maybe we don't start with wood. So I don't know for sure. I mean, just just hear me out on this one. But maybe uh, temporarily we use cobblestone because I have it right now. And then later on when we have deep slate, we come back in and swap this out for like deep slate. I think deep slate would look really good with what I'm about to do. So we start with like a cobblestone base and we go up a little bit. This thing needs to be supported for sure. Uh, when we go up, I'm thinking we could go up with spruce wood but not just spruce wood. This is another moment where I really, really wish I had dark oak right now. If I had dark oak saplings and, and dark oak wood in general, I could do dark oak fences, which I love, and they just work so good with spruce wood, but we don't have it, so we could use spruce fences instead. What if we go up with spruce fences like that? Trying to keep this uh, this crane thin still though, so maybe we do like, we do like two? What if we went up two and then took those out, and then maybe we had the spruce go up a little bit more, then we have like the head of the crane and then the arm. And the arm of the crane is gonna go over this pit right there and it's gonna be built out of copper. Hey, hey, speaking of copper, another stack of copper finished, even more levels, which is amazing. And another stack of raw copper inside of the furnace. Close your eyes, envision, imagine some kind of crane. This crane has to be small though. It can't be a big crane. When you picture this crane, what do you picture? I picture personally some type of circle gear looking thing something kind of like that but i feel like maybe if i move this over to the other side or if i just do it again on the other side and have the staircases continue straight through it might make it look a little bit more supported and realistic so uh yeah let's go with it maybe that goes straight back like that it's gonna be a little bit of a weird connection in here for sure uh, but we don't worry about it. Maybe we'll just have copper blocks back there. That'll go straight through like that. So then it's like a solid piece on the crane right there. And then I have the copper like coming out and up. Like, like I picture it going diagonally, probably using like cut copper slabs or something. Maybe? So I'm pretty nervous about this. If I mess this up, like, and it looks bad, there's not really any going back. And I don't have honeycombs right now to like you know um wax this stuff so we're just gonna have to commit i think this would look really good if we were to like get in here and try to wax the stuff and like have random oxidization that could look sweet but like i said not a possibility right now so i think what we want to do here is start with some fences we'll have the fences underneath this copper arm and actually maybe this piece can just pull out right there and that'll go like that and we could actually like maybe build this thing up in here with like a couple slabs to make it look like it's like taller than that bit uh we're gonna want to go down a little bit and then we're gonna want to try and like angle this thing up so maybe we angle it up like that and then over here we could probably do it again we, we could get more solid blocks and go like that but then actually let's shorten this because we're like passing the hole so maybe we go like that um crane arm hey crane arm I think it looks like a crane arm. Okay, okay, it, it's actually working. I mean, it's not exactly lined up with the hole because of the dimensions of the, the arm, which we could always change. Like, we could uh, just move it all back one. Not a problem at all. But look at this. Then we have this hanging down here, and this is another spot where I would love dark oak. It looks like a rope, but we don't have it. So it could hang down like that. And then I could do like a clump of stone in there somehow, like hanging, uh, like this crane is picking it up. But here's the one thing. Um, maybe move it back a little bit and maybe shorten it one block i feel like it would look a little bit better if it were shorter what do you think of my dirt scaffolding by the way just just let me know i th i think it's best in the game right dirt scaffolding all the way so i need to know if this is a mechanic or not if you know anything about this please let me know does copper age slower if you have other copper near it i saw a comment about it and i can't stop thinking about it is that real? Because I mean, George, George aged so quickly. George is an old man. Like it was actually kind of insane. And I feel like everything that I knew about copper and how it was meant to age, 
uh, didn't happen like it was meant to. Like, that block aged so quickly, like within a, like a day. Why did that happen like that? Does it age slower when it's near other copper? Okay, so how about this? A shortened crane arm. See, it's a little bit shorter. I have to fix the connections up there, so don't worry about that. But look, it's a little bit shorter now. Maybe? My other idea involves a staircase. So, uh, hear me out here. What if instead of shortening it, we do this? We have this curve up a little bit more. We put a block there, and then this whole, like, fence thing, the whole hanging rope, begins here instead. Uh, like, we take this one off, and it gives us a little bit more shape to the crane. Like, it kind of, like, curves up. Maybe it's cool. Um... I think the shorter one is better. I might be onto something. I think I got it. I think I might have actually figured it out. So I did the whole staircase thing. I just set it up differently. The fences can still hang here. Maybe eventually we like come back in and get like different fences. Definitely. I could even put like oak ones temporarily, but it hangs down like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look, uh, the, the crane arm curves up. Maybe another slab on top of that thing to have it like curve all the way up, make it a little more sharp. And then on the back side, like a balance right there. And then to finish everything off back here, a couple more fences on the bottom of those blocks like that. And it's a crane. I think it worked. I think it worked. Once I have blocks right there, I think it worked. I mean, it looks like a crane, I think. I think the only way, though, to tell for sure is going to be like deep slate. If I were to get some deep slate and put it on this thing so the cobblestone doesn't stand out as much, and then maybe I put like a, another deep slate thing up high somewhere, I don't know for sure. I think that might help it even more. See, I think it just needs something more, like maybe a trap door in there to help that shape out a little bit more. Shaved off some stuff on the end. Think that looks a little bit better. It just needs more. Copper ingots. Even more are done. Cook the rest up. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Hear me out here. I, I need more trap doors to go on top of that thing, or like even campfires or just something. But listen, hear me out here, okay? I heard a patrol, by the way, but maybe... Eh, maybe not. <laughs> ah, this is tough. Finally, I think I got it. And before everything aged to the copper crane. This is what it needed. It needed to be compacted up top a little bit and rounded a little bit more up top. So that round section that I pictured right there with spruce. I wish there were dark oak in here, but it's fine. I put oak right there. That's the crane. Now the only question is, does that copper block stick out one more or does it stay like that? I'm not too sure. Or should it maybe even be deep slate to match the bottom? That's a good call too, but we should move on. To be honest, I can't really mess with it anymore until I have actually like more of the building and the real blocks on the bottom, which is the deep slate. So we're going to leave it like that. Didn't think that thing would take so long. Next, I need to dig this hole all the way down, like really, really far down. Now for the way back up, pretty easy. All that I'm going to do for now is ladders. Eventually, once we have the nether, I'd like to do a bubble column. But today it's going to be ladders and probably a lot of them too. I have to figure out where I want to put it. I think I want to do the ladders right there. That'll be cool. Like leading up that side. Hmm. Yeah, maybe right there. So this hole, it's gonna be pretty natural looking, but I also don't want it to be too basic. If I were to dig it just like straight down in this shape, which by the way, I think this is a pretty good shape for like a hole. Uh, if I were to dig it straight down, it wouldn't look very good. So what I think I wanna do kind of like randomly down here on the wall, uh, as I go down, the hole is actually, it, this is painful, this is really painful to say, but the hole is going to get a little bit wider. Now, what I think I'm going to do is uh, make it kind of random, so like maybe it cuts in right there, but this part just still goes straight down, and then I'm going to leave the natural blocks on the wall, so that means if there's ores in here that I end up finding, they have to stay. Now, the nice thing about this, uh, it doesn't only have to get wider, it can actually curve back in a little bit. I, it can't really go too far past this right here, so if I have it go out a couple blocks, I could have it curve back but it can't be flat. I also might come in here and put a little bit of cobblestone on the wall too. I'm not too sure quite yet, uh, but if I do, you'll know. And then finally, last but not least, the ladder. So I think I'm gonna put the ladder right here instead, actually. I kind of want it to be hidden because eventually we probably won't really use the ladder. We'll just use like a bubble column, uh, but we have the ladder right there, and then it's actually gonna be like a hanging ladder too. So in some spots, I'm gonna put like a trap door down, uh, have it like that, and then have the ladder hanging. And then eventually, like if the wall gets like pushed far enough away, you'll actually see that the ladder is hanging, and I think it'll be pretty cool looking. To dig this thing and to make everything kind of easy and like quickest, I figured I started the top 
top of this hole and dig down basically like layer by layer or section by section kind of like i'm doing here like i take out some of this thing and then i turn and take out like more of this stuff and i just keep an eye on the wall make sure it's not looking too flat but also like at the same time not too much detail i don't want to make it too hard on myself i'm probably going to go through a bunch of iron pickaxes to accomplish this it's going to be a big hole and i need a better way in and out of the animal pen so the great carpet light pack i also saw a couple of people point out that i could detail this thing with like layers of carpets on there that's a really good idea and can you all actually just leave okay fine well it's not gonna go easy so we're just gonna have to uh, take them okay okay they're a little strong right now uh definitely i will give you that they have a lot of, of strength and numbers they are strong strong but not too strong hey a crossbow ah yes there you are he didn't have much health though that's too bad the empire gains another trophy all right so here's a progress update my second pickaxe just broke and i'm this far i'm all the way down to y51 if you want to count that right there uh the hole is looking pretty good so far See, the nice thing about this project is you don't really, like, look into it. Like, you don't, like, focus on it too much because it's down under the ground. So, so long as it, like, kind of looks good like this, I feel like that looks pretty cool, uh, then we're good. What I might end up doing, too, is, like, come back up top here and add, like, a couple blocks to the top. Uh, only if I need it, though, like, at the end. Also, because of how I'm doing this, there's going to be, like, some flat sections in there. I don't know if I put torches in there or glow like in or what. I'm not too sure. Project's going good, though. Have to dig a lot more. At least two pickaxes. At least two pickaxes worth. And this crane is all still normal copper too. I like it. Alright, it's probably time for another mining update. Here's how far down I am now. Pretty far, I'm getting there. I'm at Y32. I think I'm going to have this thing go all the way down to like 15 or 16. I'm not too sure quite yet. But it's not going to go all the way down to zero. So like 15, 16, something like that. At least I think. I'm not 100% sure yet. I think it is going pretty good though i mean look at the side looks pretty cool pretty natural i'm definitely going for natural and no cobblestone i've decided cobblestone it's just not it i'm also on my third pickaxe now since we talked last time that'll do for an update though back to digging aha an interesting development definitely interesting i'm getting so close to being finished now i think i have it's got to be like maybe less than 10 more blocks yeah 21 like five more blocks to go but look what i found right here a cave very interesting i was digging this thing out and i saw this hole right here and would you take a look at this this is a really low down cave and even more importantly deep slate deep slate it's right here all the way down y15 which is amazing and I'll also conveniently maybe even more amazingly there's gonna be diamonds down here for sure there has to be i mean we're at diamond range which is literally perfect for finding diamonds now i don't know really how much of this cave i really want to light up today i kind of want to finish the build there's a lot more to do but it is down here which is pretty cool now that i'm so close to the bottom of this cave i'd like to talk about what i want to do with the bottom so we have this gigantic hole right here really really tall really deep i think it's pretty cool looking at i think the shaping on this thing is pretty good just have to make it to the proper bottom of this thing and then at the bottom i'm gonna put water so i can jump down from the top all the way down to the bottom see my thinking is eventually we have bubble column going back up to the top probably like off to the side somewhere but the quickest way down it's probably always going to be just jumping down so here we go we get it all the way down to y16 this spot right here we put water all over the bottom which means bucket we don't have a bucket the very first bucket of the world right there also while i've been working on this thing i've been coming back up to the surface every once in a while and harvesting everything so i just replanted the wheat harvested all the sugar cane i've been working on this wheat berry barn a little bit too getting stockpiled and the copper crane it has not aged yet today i love it so anyways down here at the bottom of this thing we take water buckets dump water everywhere so we can jump down and not get hurt also i think that we should maybe do like a ladder up into the cave system i don't know exactly if it's gonna stay there forever but ladder into the cave system go over here take that out and take the water my thinking is later on when we're actually like working down here more we come back down here and expand this thing maybe we like open this up into like a big chamber like a big room that could be pretty cool get like furnaces down here smelting operation and then maybe even like other ladders or bubble columns up to other spots and a bubble column too so here we go bottom of this pit it's gonna stay like this today 
pretty simple. But at the same time, it was a massive amount of digging. Like this took a long time to work on. It was a lot of digging. It went through a lot of pickaxes. This is what I ended up getting though. Uh, we're stocked on cobblestone. We could use so much of this stuff on builds now. I also started to stock up on gravel a little bit, which is pretty cool. I like to use that. It got a little bit of iron, definitely a little bit more coal. No copper though. I was kind of bummed. I was hoping that I would find copper. I also found almost no granite. Kind of interesting. As much as I deeply wish to be done with mining, digging for the day, I can't. There's still more to do. So we're going to have to eventually set up a way to come back up here with the bubble column. I keep talking about it. I'm thinking we set up the way to come back up inside of this hill. I think that could be pretty cool and add to this zone. I'm also thinking that now we're probably going to have to like rotate the house or something. Maybe put it going like long ways, which is fine because I've fully decided this whole zone over here, like basically from like this area straight back to the hill is going to be a mining area. We're going to put piles of blocks on the ground, like the new ones, like tough and stuff like that. Once we have them it's gonna be pretty sweet but anyways eventually once we have the bubble column here we're gonna need a way to get back out of the mines i'm thinking like a circular entrance over here could be pretty cool so maybe we go down like three blocks right there then we do a staircase uh upside down staircase right there another staircase right there and then this just goes straight down into the ground then inside of this space right here we could probably set up like a room or something I have to be careful not to fall but yeah like a room in there maybe we make it one more though so it looks a little bit more circular i think that could be pretty cool i feel like i've said it a million times today i don't have soul sand bubble columns not happening yet so what we're gonna do is set up a room and just kind of leave room for the bubble column and then put the bubble column in later also, it's Minecraft 1.17, uh, Dripstone, or Deep Slate, uh, or both of them, really. Uh, but Deep Slate, I think Deep Slate would look amazing in here. Like, imagine this arch out of, like, Deep Slate, or even the walls inside of this build built out of Deep Slate. We have to incorporate it somehow. And man, seriously, I really, really wish that, it, that I had something else, like, other than spruce wood. Oak wood is nice, too. But I'm talking about dark oak wood. If I had dark oak wood, it would be over. I would be able to do like spruce pillars right there and then dark oak staircases and it all blends together and it looks amazing and great. I mean, nothing wrong with this arch. It's an arch still. But just having those other blocks would increase the potential like huge time here and it would be amazing. So we re-terraform the hill, have that look a little bit better. Over here, we have this shape. This will go straight back into the hill. We'll probably like put the hill up here on top of the thing so it looks cool. Definitely gonna have to get some details in here somehow. I'm thinking maybe we could do like logs coming out of this thing. That could be kind of cool. Like if these spruce logs cut out there and then like maybe back here, they go straight down to the ground. That could be kind of interesting. Maybe those cut down right there. Hmm maybe or we even just readjust things slightly make a couple of small changes to it and end up with something that looks like that i feel like that definitely looks a little bit more interesting imagining this thing having like a hole behind it and then maybe in those areas right there like right in here we put like a light source block like uh like a block of like glowstone and then oak trap doors on it that would make it look really really cool but we don't have that right now so <laughs> i hate to do it like this but uh placeholder blocks even more placeholder blocks that goes right there and then up here I probably hollow that out a little bit more, carry these slabs inwards, and I feel like, I mean, personally, I think that's a little bit more interesting. I ran out of logs, just as I was about to finish, too. Oh man. So, uh, forget whatever I just showed you, because I completely changed the build again. Here's what we're looking at now, something kind of like this. Now, keep in mind, I'm working with basically one wood type here, the other type that would look really good, I just don't have it yet. And this build isn't finished, I don't have a lot of the blocks that I want to use. Deep Slate, Deep Slate would look amazing in here, it would look so good. Instead of light source block, we put campfires right there. The campfires do the job perfectly, fit the whole mining vibe too, it looks pretty sweet. Here's what I'm thinking though. So we get to work in here and we make this thing go back a little bit. Maybe like sections of three or sections of five. I can't decide quite yet. Then we're gonna run beams across the center too. We're gonna go for heavy mine vibe in here. Now over here, uh, we're gonna start like kind of curving this thing back and open the room up a little bit. Doesn't have to be too big in here. It's really just the exit to the mine, but that's exactly what I'm thinking. Up here in the ceiling to make this thing look good and open and e even more like a mine, or we're gonna open it up. We'll raise the ceiling, get all the gravel out of here. I could always use gravel for like coarse dirt and probably leave like a lot of dirt on the ceiling from the outside this is kind of what it's going to look like i mean maybe i come back in here with like extra fences in there to detail this thing up finish up the outside but that's what i'm thinking i'm also picturing deep slate in there somehow we have to use deep slate on these builds because the stuff is so cool looking so maybe like the walls are deep slate or i at least put some deep slate like cracks on the wall or something like that and then maybe even deep slate on the front of the build, like where I put some of those spruce. Yeah, this thing could use less spruce for sure. So maybe I come back in and put like deep slate right where these fences are instead. Could look kind of nice. You see right now, it's all really just a prototype. A prototype that we're gonna have to finish up in the next episode. I can see it now though. Coarse dirt all over the place. It looks so good. Rooted dirt eventually once we get it. Path blocks, a better cave, a better building over here that goes this way instead, keeps it all open. 
and the crane that hasn't aged at all yet ha <laughs> it's perfect i love copper episode 126 this means we will fight the dragon and go end busting again ah uh, absolutely at least with the end busting stuff for sure gonna have to go back at some point find another elytra or maybe even more this time never got to explore it as much as i wanted to and then the dragon i'm still trying to decide if i'm gonna respawn the dragon or if we just like get really stacked up and then we're good to be honest i don't think i've ever actually legitimately respawned the dragon on my own in solo survival so that could be kind of cool. That's going to do it for episode 126 of the guide. Big shout out to Noodle Pork, Cypher1158, Justin, and Jacob P. Thank you so much for the support. Next episode, it's 1.17 times.